In the Unova region, there exist two groups of important denizens. The cursed who choose to Nuzlocke, and the Pokémon who bear their suffering. These are their stories. I'm not gonna promise a perfect playthrough, just on record. Oh! Pidgey. Hmm. That kinda sucks a little bit. But then again, Pidgey isn't... Okay, Pidgey does have its uses. It's fairly quick. It has decent damage ability, but... And it's a flying type, but... Cripes! Zinnia, what the fuck? <laughs> Just oven flipped at the bird. <laughs> I get it, you're a grass type, you're weak to flying types, but you didn't have to go all out on the poor thing. Jeez. Yeah, that's another thing. It takes a while for it to learn a proper flying type move. I think its first one is like... Uh, Wing Attack or some odd? Such... Wing Attack... Is it, actually, no, it's either Wing Attack or Peck. I think Peck. But regardless, both of the moves are fairly low power anyway, and... It, it, considering what the first gym is, you get something better to deal with it later. Now for the tedious part of this. Training up my rat so it gets up to five... To at least, like, level five. Huh! Is that a level 6 centric? Uh, this could be a problem. Oh, but then again, centric doesn't have much in terms of its physical stats, I think. Foresight's a problem, though. Vinyl whip. Whip it real good. Wow, that wasn't much damage, actually. Uh, Leer? Oh, nuts. Okay. Vinyl Whip should be good? Almost. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. An Ornberry? Already? Oh, well, this could be a problem. Okay, so if this Vine Whip doesn't kill, I'm going to have a serious problem with Zinnia. Oh, no. Okay, good. And since I have the speed advantage, I could take it out. Provided it doesn't miss. Good. Jeez, it's only the third battle. Well, actually, fourth battle, and we've already had a scare. Ooh, quick attack. That's gonna be helpful. Yeah, unfortunately, due to this being a Nuzlocke, uh, expect a lot of going back and forth in between battles and healing. But on the bright side, I do get to talk shop a lot with Pokemon, so yay. Right! I had a story, I had a story that I didn't get around to involving a Wii. So, around the time that the Nintendo Wii first came out. I believe it was, like, what, 2007, 2008? We had ours for, like, two or three months. We bought it, like, opening day slash opening week. And it broke. The Wii broke. So we had to return it to Walmart, get a new one, and, as it turns out, that second one that we got didn't work straight out of the box. No lie, we had to go through three different consoles to get one that worked. Just, if that doesn't stay- oh, fuck. Of course it's Big Pecs. And switching. Okay, six damage on super effective, so let's assume nine on crit. This could be bad. Tackle, please. Okay, that does appreciable damage. I think I can survive this. Good. Okay. 
Actually, while I'm at it... I should probably set my... Bike as a select item. But now, I'm kind of curious what uh, abilities my Pokémon have. Because usually... The starter... Usually the starters will have the basic bitch abilities. So, Blaze, Overgrow, or the Water variant. But sometimes, if you're lucky, you can get a uh, hidden ability. Torrent, thank you. And by the look of it, Impish Nature. Yep, it's Overgrow. Meanwhile, Guts. Bolsters attack power if under a status. Not great. But it's workable. And another thing I do want to mention while we're on this screen. If I remember correctly, natures do imp do affect which stats increase more or less on level up. If I remember correctly, the blue one increases more, the red one increases less. So I want to say our Snivy is specced in special attack, but crap with defense. Which kind of sucks, because special attack is its weakest stat. But our Rattata does have better attack power in exchange for special defense, which is a good thing. It does both, actually. It specifically increases one stat, decreases another slightly. Though there are certain natures, I believe it's like five of them specifically, that do absolutely nothing. Let's see how much a stab quick attack will do. Answer. Not great. Oh, really not great. Uh. Zinnia? Calling you in again. Zinnia's gonna be our piggyback for a while. Unfortunately, a Pokemon has to at least enter the battle, for now at least, in order to gain XP from it. Later on, we will get the XP share, which, starting from this generation, did receive an improvement, so that it covers the entire party. It's going to be quite the saving grace. Should probably consider healing one, one last time before moving on. Because I think level 5 or 6 should be okay enough for now. Rattata is still kinda glass, but it could be worse. Give it a shot, Deez. Pretty good damage. And you took it like a champ. Excellent work. Oh, shit! <laughs> shit, I just realized. Deez is a girl, and... Oh my god. I am a terrible person. <laughs> I am even worse of a person now. Deez is a girl. What nuts. Alternatively, see, uh, something very randy. Oh, gods. Hoot hoot! Should be able to at least survive one blow. Not two. Oh, definitely not two. Fuck this. Any any mon with hypnosis is kind of bad. Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Do I have any awakenings? I don't think I do, considering it how early it is. Oh. Joy. I don't... I don't think there was a rival battle after this, but just in case. Because I know my luck. And my luck tends to be piss poor. Not again! It's even stronger this time! Hard no! 
How about it, Tazith? You want to compare which one of us has the most Pokemon with them? Because there's only one way to go by. Such, I mean, I think I lose this. We all have the same number. <laughs> Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you've found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Accumulatown. The professor's waiting. But first, our phone, the cross transceiver, activates. This used to be kind of a big deal with the DS. Because it was like a way you could communicate between people who owned the game using IR technology. I remember it was built into the chip specifically, which was interesting. It was novel for its time. Hello. How's everyone doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great, too. They're going, ugh, getting along great now, right? Oh, Professor! Right now I'm in front of Accumulatown's Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around. Meet me there. Okay, the Pokemon Center. See you. Nope, I'm going on ahead. Although... Before we do that... I think one of these buildings does have something in it. We are going to be doing some uh, basic raccooning. What's in the trash? Nothing is in the trash. I'm ashamed. One of the critical things that you will pretty much need to memorize when you play a Pokemon game, the center. And starting within Gen 5, the Pokemon Center also doubles as the shop. Before now, shops used to be their own separate entities within towns. Free Pokemon healthcare. Heal my mons, please. Yay! And the PC. This is where all our excess Pokémon are gonna be, and any and all Pokémon that perish. Because it's inevitable when it comes to a Nuzlocke. Is that someone? Who knows? Who cares? We'll figure it out. It usually varies between generations anyway. When you get to Striden City, go and meet an inventor named Fennel. She's a friend of mine from long ago, and I'm sure she'll help you on your way. Best of luck. I hear that... I hope that your journey proves to be the adventure of a lifetime. Oh, it will be. Trust me. Oh, what should I buy? Potions, Pokeballs are definitely important. I'm thinking... Well, first off, see what's in the shop. Not really much. Balls are gonna be a mandatory at all. Let's buy at least, like, nine. And spend the rest of our cash on pots. Pots are going to be important. Because there are only so many ways that you can earn money. One of which being trainer battles. Money is going to be a fairly limited resource across the board. So we got to be careful about what we use, when we use it, how we use it. I already just healed. Why did I do this again? Wasting time. Glorious wasting time. Anyways. Should probably get the uh, dead box ready. Oh, perfect, actually. And it's in a cave. Perfect. As we uh, catch more and more Pokemon up to a point, then we'll gain more access to more boxes. Like, it'll matter. 
the shops will also expand depending on the number of gym badges we obtain, too, so that's something. Mail. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just, just don't worry about it. Sounds like something is going on in the plaza. Oh, let's have a little look-see. Whoa. Tazif, come here a sec. My name is Getsis. I'm here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Huh? What? I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when there are partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there's no truth in what I'm saying? No way. Yikes. I don't know. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They're living beings that contain unknown potential. They're living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokémon? What could it be? Liberation? That's right. We must liberate the Pokémon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokémon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. Your Pokemon. Just now, it was saying. Slow down. You talk too fast. What's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh. Then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name's Sharon, and this is Tiljeef. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, huh? You're going to confine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that, then. It's a- I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Tiljeef is it. Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Introducing our third quote-unquote rival. N. Harmonious Gropius. Make your jokes now. Oh shit, that's a level 6. This may be a problem. This may mean that Tiljeef needs to solo everything. Oh boy. Because Ninkata, if I remember correctly, is fairly good defensively. And it's only going to get worse from here. Uh, reduce its defense back down. Bug Bite's an annoying move. Very- Aw. Uh. Zinnia, I'ma need you. This could be bad, because grass types are really weak to bug types. 
I don't think I prepared well enough for this. Okay. Don't crit. Uh -huh. Zinnia? I'm gonna cross my fingers. Ugh. We still have another Pokemon to go through. And Zinnia has to truck it out. I'm only allowed two potions. This could be bad. Okay, this might not be as bad, considering that scratch. Whip it real good. Just in case, conserve on power. There we go. And level 9. No new moves yet. Oh boy, Purloin. Purloin is, if I remember correctly, a dark type. I'm gonna have to keep battling. Vine Whip, please do damage. Good damage. Oh, that's Powder. I could survive this. Even on a crit, that will only deal like 7-6 uh, damage. The assist is scary, though. Oh, good. Scratch. We got this. Ugh. I panicked for a moment. I didn't think we'd be spending cash already. Oh, crap! That's trash! I never expected to hear such wonderful voices. As long as Pokémon are confined in Pokéballs, they'll never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokémon, because they are my friends. Huh. Strange guy. But I'm not gonna worry about it. Turnus and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Striaton City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. It's been really a good lesson. And I think my rat might need it. Cripes. Let's save my money for now. I've only used one potion. Not much of a loss. I think this building had something? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, no, wait. Right, this was another thing. Specific to Gen... Five, I believe. I'm not sure if any other generations did this, off the top of my head, rather. There are certain NPCs you can find in most towns of the game that will add an extra rhythm line to the music when you talk to them. Case in point. It persists while you're within the town, too. It's nice to listen to. Do, do, do. Hmm. I'm not sure if I should train or go for another Pokemon. Let's go for another Pokemon. Also, current date, you can actually see it up here. Let's date the recording as much as possible. Stratton City is nestled in the forest, 
and the breeze smells like trees. The stairs at the entrance help with heavy snow. Stratton Gym is a restaurant where meals are served. And so are battles. It's a nice little world detail. Oh, right. Trainer battles. I think that person's a trainer. Tajif, it's your mom. How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you, so I called, but I'm gonna hang up the cross transceiver now. Because she's right here. Finally caught up with you. Look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you were probably headed for Stratton City by now. I have another present for you. Try them on. Finally! When you're wearing the running shoes, you can go anywhere on Flash. Just hold the B button. That's it. We can finally run. Yay! Shoes! Proper footwear! All this time, we've been running around in bare beans and socks. And we got that refunded pot ion. Ah, oh, trash! This is trash! This is asymmetrical garbage! I'm kidding. The Meowth is actually fairly good for a physical attacker, if I remember correctly. I may need to switch. Zinnia, little help. Ugh. The item limit rule still applies for encounters, too. It doesn't account for, uh, Pokeballs, just on record. Oh, and it's faster, too? Hmm. Let's aim to catch it. Meowth, take a ball. Hopefully not two. Yes! Uh, I'm actually getting decent luck with encounters this time around. Good. Meowth, the scratch cat Pokemon. Nocturnal in nature, it spots something shiny if it spots something shiny, its eyes glitter brightly. Alright, time to nickname this bugger. Oh, it's male! <laughs> hmm. Bucky's not a bad name. Sure, why not? Actually, curiosity. He. Oh, that's gonna be a mandatory trainer battle. Hmm. I could maybe manage it, but... I don't think I want to chance it. Let's swap Zinni in. Potentially go back. Yeah, fair. He is a lucky kid. Meowths tend to be a bit, at least a little bit lucky. Maybe it's a good sign. We'll see. Persian it does tend to be a decent glass physical. So it's something to consider. I think it also gets access to assist, too, so if I wanted to go that route, I could. I don't think I want to. <laughs> if anything, maybe I could consider it like a crit cannon. Hold on. What ability does it have? I said, what ability does it have? Thank you, me. Fumbling my buttons. Calm nature. That's not... Actually, no, that's pretty good. Technician powers up the po- Actually, that's really good! Holy shit! 
Okay, so an explanation on technician, because these, ex these uh, descriptions don't do it justice. Technician bolsters the power of any move below 60 base power by an additional 25%. So essentially, a move at exactly 60 base power, which is the ideal for this type of ability, will effectively count as a base 80 move. And there are fairly good setups that take advantage of Technician. Weedle! Hmm, it's like we're in Viridian Forest all over again. Actually, no, Zinnia, darling. Can you take care of this? Just wreck it. You've got this bagged. Guess I forgot to switch in my other encounter. Or my other Pokemon, rather. Blurg. Because Deez is going to need quite a bit of XP. I think Raticate evolves somewhat early, too, so that also helps. Oh, Poot! Aww! I like Poochiena! Well, Mightyena, rather, but. Damn it! Fine. I get it, game. I get it. I'll deal with the normal types for now. Though it would have been cool to have a Mighty Anna with Fire Fang. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, Zinnia, could you, uh, take care of this quick? That's not take care of, taking care of this quick. Tackle should be enough. Gotta conserve my vinyl. There we go, level 6. How's it? My kin! My brethren! Hello, Trash Panda! <laughs> uh, it pisses me off so much that it's, we only have one raccoon Pokemon. It's this thing. Granted, Linoon is actually a fairly quick and powerful Pokemon when used properly. But even still. Just... I never li I've never liked Zigzagoon's design. Oh, good. Didn't get much in terms of XP, though. Hmm. Okay, you're not a trainer. Good. I, I was panicking for a moment. Mmm. <laughs> Ah, oh, Purloin. And the look of it, Deez is gonna get enough XP to level up after this battle. That's good. Not bad damage. That's not great. Keep scratching, because unlike the Purloin here, you got Stab on your move. And apparently there's a speed tie here. Hmm. Quick attack is 40 base. So it'd be less than tackle. And focus energy is crap. Yeah, like, uh, if I remember correctly, before Gen 4 or 5, it was originally, a, like, a base 30 power... The tackle was originally a base 30 power attack, but around this point, it got changed to a base 50 instead. Acro so, across the board, while it is slightly more inaccurate, it's better for me to use tackle as opposed to quick attack. The only advantage Quick Attack has, really, is the priority. But even then, I'm pretty sure... Th uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure a rat here would probably be outspeeding everything. Yeah, I think I can risk one tackle. Maybe two. This is a free encounter. 
because it's pretty much guaranteed Ds will take it out. All it's doing is leering! Why are you looking at me like that? Stop! Oh, of course! Finish it with a grit! Uh, it's the official Nuzlocke drinking game. Take a shot every time you crit when you don't need to.